Hello everyone, welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Feeling stressed and in need of a little break? Come along with us as we explore the vast almond orchards spread across California. With their creamy, nutty flavor and high nutritional value, almonds have become one of America's most beloved nuts. Did you know that every year, farmers in California harvest hundreds of thousands of tons of almonds? From the blooming almond trees in California's orchards to the delicious almonds you enjoy, the journey of almond production is a long, intricate process that requires advanced technology. In today's video, we'll follow the farmers to uncover the entire process of growing and harvesting almonds. Let's dive in. California isn't just famous for its renowned vineyards. It's also the largest almond production hub in the United States. With a Mediterranean climate, this state has become an ideal land for almond trees to thrive. Almond trees love strong sunlight, and California's dry climate helps prevent fungal diseases, which often affect crops in humid regions. The soil in California is also well-suited for almond cultivation, especially sandy loam and loam soils with good drainage. Farmers here focus heavily on monitoring soil pH, ensuring it always stays between 6.0 and 7.0, which is ideal for almond trees. The popular almond varieties grown in California include Nonpareil, Caramel, and Butte. Each has unique characteristics such as different nut sizes, flavors, and harvest times. These varieties are favored not only for their delicious taste, but also for their good resistance to weather and pests, helping to increase yields and reduce risks for growers. Almond trees typically take about three to five years from planting to start bearing fruit. Planting usually occurs in early spring when the weather is warmer. Before planting, farmers use plows to loosen the soil, making it easier for plants to grow. The machine will then till the soil into furrows, making it easier to plant almond trees in rows and easier to harvest later. Specialized drills are then used to drill holes in the ground into which the almond seedlings can be planted. In large orchards, trees are spaced 4 to 6 meters apart to allow sufficient room for growth. The planting holes are dug about 50 to 60 centimeters deep, with a layer of organic compost or well-rotted manure added to provide nutrients during the early growth phase. Almond trees are mainly propagated through budding or grafting. Once the saplings have developed strong roots through grafting, they are transferred to large orchards. The saplings are usually planted in early spring when warmer weather helps them adapt to their new environment. Tree planters or skilled labor are used to ensure efficient and quick planting. The saplings are placed in the holes, soil is covered over, and then watered to help the roots establish quickly. After planting a tree, the important things for its growth are watering, fertilizing, and spraying pesticides. Regular watering is essential in almond tree care. Large almond orchards typically use drip irrigation systems, which not only provide precise watering but also conserve water. Although almond trees are relatively drought tolerant, they still need consistent watering, especially in the first few years after planting, to support strong and sustainable growth. The drip irrigation system works effectively by delivering water directly to the root zone where it's needed most. This helps reduce water evaporation. Rotating sprinklers are also widely used, particularly in larger areas. These sprinklers use high water pressure to distribute water evenly across the orchard, ensuring optimal irrigation efficiency. They work by rotating in a circular pattern, covering a wide radius to reach as many plants as possible. This type of irrigation system is especially beneficial for orchards, as it prevents water pooling, reduces the risk of fungal growth, and provides consistent moisture for the trees. Additionally, rotating sprinklers can be easily adjusted to control water output, making them suitable for different soil types and weather conditions, further enhancing water use efficiency and promoting healthy plant growth throughout the orchard. Fertilizing almond trees is a crucial step to ensure healthy growth and high yields. Fertilizers can be organic or synthetic, typically containing nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium to provide essential nutrients for the trees. Modern machinery is used in large farms to apply fertilizers efficiently and effectively. 
Almond trees are susceptible to various diseases like leaf spot, brown rot, and almond scale. Farmers regularly spray pesticides to keep the trees healthy. Spraying machines help farmers distribute pesticides evenly and effectively over large areas. Almond trees typically take about three to four years from planting to begin flowering and bearing fruit. Almonds bloom from late winter to early spring, usually around February to March in California. The blossoms appear before new leaves grow, creating neat rows of trees covered in delicate, tiny flowers that transform the landscape into a romantic, ethereal scene. Under the gentle spring sunlight, this view brings joy not only to farmers, but also attracts thousands of visitors and photographers who come to witness and capture this breathtaking moment. During the blooming season, almond growers often rent or purchase bees to release in the orchards. Bees fly from flower to flower, collecting pollen, and in the process, they inadvertently pollinate the almond blossoms, which helps the trees produce nuts. This setup allows farmers to maximize their orchard's productivity, benefiting both almond pollination and honey production. After six months, the almonds turn brown and are ready for harvest. Specialized machinery is essential for almond harvesting. Tree shakers and nut sweepers are primarily used in this process. The tree shaker has an arm designed to grip the trunk or large branches of the almond tree. First, the shaker is positioned to match the size and shape of the tree. The machine's arm wraps securely around the trunk to prevent damage during shaking. Once in position, the vibrating system is activated using strong vibrations to shake the tree causing the ripe almonds to fall to the ground. After the shaker drops the almonds to the ground, the sweeper moves through the rows to gather them into a clear strip of soil. Equipped with a series of brushes or rollers, the sweeper collects almonds from the ground into narrow rows. Then, a nut harvester picks up the almonds, using rollers or brushes to lift them and remove larger debris, such as small branches, leaves, and stones. Additionally, some shakers come with a mesh attachment that catches falling almonds directly. This combined machine is more efficient, as it integrates both shaking and collecting in one. In some orchards where almond trees are arranged in rows, similar to vineyards, specialized shakers pass over the trees. These machines have multi-tiered rotating spindles with rubber-coated discs that shake the trees as they move along, causing almonds to fall onto a conveyor belt that transports them to a storage bin. While this method is modern and efficient, it doesn't fully remove debris like leaves and can sometimes cause slight damage to the trees. Right after harvest, almonds are gathered and transported by truck to storage facilities or directly to processing plants. Almonds are stacked in large piles where temperature and humidity control are crucial to prevent mold growth or heat damage. Once the almonds arrive at the factory, they're unloaded directly from trucks into storage hoppers and moved to conveyor belts. First, the almonds go through a preliminary cleaning process to remove dust, leaves, and other debris. Next, they pass through specialized machines. Large branch removers eliminate unwanted branches, stone removers extract rocks and heavier materials, and small branch removers refine the process by removing smaller contaminants. After this initial cleaning, the almonds are sent to large storage bins to await further processing. In the next stage, the almonds go through gentle vibrating machines to loosen their outer shells, preparing them for shelling. The nuts are then directed to sorting tables, where advanced machinery separates the almonds from their shells and any unusable parts. At the quality control stage, each batch of almonds is thoroughly inspected for size, 
foreign materials, and imperfections. Any almonds that don't meet quality standards are discarded. Workers are paid $10 an hour to remove all the bad beans from the conveyor belt. The quality of almonds is also strictly controlled in the laboratory, helping to ensure the quality of the product. In the final stage, the almonds are sorted by size and packed into large containers based on market specifications. This process not only ensures the almonds reach consumers at the highest quality, but also adheres to strict food safety standards. This way, the almonds are safely stored and transported to retail outlets or further processed to meet customer demands. After screening, the almonds can be further coated with chocolate. The almonds are placed on a conveyor belt for further inspection to ensure that only quality nuts make it through. Next, chocolate is prepared by heating it to about 70 degrees, making it easy to coat the almonds. Chocolate is spread evenly into the compartments and each almond is placed precisely into them. Workers then remove any excess chocolate. Finally, the chocolate-covered almonds are carefully packaged, ready for distribution to consumers or retail stores. Now you've gained an overview of how American farmers grow and harvest millions of tons of almonds each year. From selecting varieties and planting to modern harvesting methods, using tree shakers and nut sweepers, every step is done meticulously and scientifically to ensure high efficiency. So next time you enjoy a crunchy almond or a delicious almond pastry, Remember all the hard work that went into bringing these almonds to you. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating insights into the world of agriculture. Goodbye and see you in the next video.